Hey guys, what I want to show you today is how to use your green screen or blue screen, whatever screen you have, and how to make that transparent so you can use uh, multiple layers of footage on top of each other and they all, they'll all be visible. So this is the easiest and most effective way of doing it. And yeah, it's you know, you'll be surprised just how easy it is. So let's jump straight in. So you're going to want to go ahead and start a new project. Let's just call ours Chroma Keyed. And obviously you're going to need some footage or static images or whatever that you, you want to have. So it doesn't really matter about the settings. Obviously yours will be different for your footage. So we've loaded up a new uh, Adobe Premiere Pro project. Now I've already got some footage in a folder, which I'm going to link in the description bar. I've got a Metro Cop from Half-Life 2 and the Strider uh, like animations. So let's import those straight in. And let's just watch. <laughs> I actually quite like this. If you just look up here, we can see him dancing away. And now we're going to take him on a tour. We're going to we're going to get rid of that horrible background uh, green screen, and we're going to replace it with some nice. Um, well, you'll find out where we're going. So first of all, we need to go to our effects. So make sure you go to Window, and you have your effect controls and your effects open. And now you can either type in the search or go to video effects and you're going to want to find keying. And now you're going to want to scroll down until you find chroma key. Now with your um, clip selected you're going to want to drag the chroma key either to the effects over here or down to the video. Whichever, you know, it doesn't really matter either way. And as you can see it's brought up the chroma key options. And you're going to want to open that up and now s select the little color picker here click that and now you can pick a color so we're going to pick our green screen the color that we want to get rid of so we click it there and like you can see just like that it's got rid of 99 percent of that horrible green color now to get rid of the other one percent we're going to need to go to similarity and we're going to need to increase that and that's just just to get rid of any like remaining bits that are similar but not exactly the same color so let's increase that slowly you can either type a number or scroll across so if I keep going you, if you just see the footage it's going to slowly decrease the amount of green until so about a hundred in this uh, in this example will do the trick now like you can see the background is now black and uh, yeah we've got rid of the green screen just like that you know a few clicks easy enough now let's drag our video over this obviously you're going to want the video on top of your backdrop and I've already got a few backdrops here, so let's go for our Minecraft backdrop and just import that straight into the project, drag, drag or drop it or import it and let's put that on the video below it, stretch it out like so and let's move our little guy over and let's scale him down a little bit and click play and there you have it, we now have a, a dancing uh, <laughs> A dancing Metro Cop from Half-Life 2 in a, a Minecraft overlay. So simple enough, wasn't it? Let's go ahead and uh, I'll just show you how to apply it to a video. It's the same concept as an, an image. Just import your video. Let's, let's copy this over and have... Let's keep our Minecraft overlay and we're also bringing in... I've got some Far Cry 3 footage here. You know, it doesn't really matter. Let's just drag that over into our backdrop and let's scale it one second scale to frame size motion one 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 and hit play and now our little man is dancing all over far cry 3 so yeah simple as that really effective um and it does the trick this will work with any chroma key footage you know if you have a backdrop you just select the color of your backdrop, even a white wall or a black wall. You know, as long as you're wearing adequate clothing, uh, clothing it'll be fine. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and uh, there'll be more to come. See you guys next time. Bye.